What are the main problems for GMOs? Well, health, environment, and economics, if you want to take the big picture. But let's take a look at just the health side and look at the problems within the health sphere. When rodents were fed genetically modified soybeans, they had damaged testicles, change colors, the color of the testicle changed from pink to blue, changes in the uterus and ovaries, the DNA functioned differently in the offspring, and smaller babies, sterile babies, and up to half of the babies died within three weeks. In fact, among hamsters fed GM soy, by the third generation, most lost their ability to have babies, and some had hair growing in their mouths. Now that's totally disgusting. That's one example of things that can go wrong, reproductive problems. Another is that the only human feeding study ever conducted and published on GMOs showed that the genes inserted into genetically modified crops transferred to the DNA of the gut bacteria living inside our intestines and continue to function. This means long after we stop eating genetically modified foods, we may have these dangerous genetically modified proteins produced over and over again. For example, BT corn is corn that is engineered to produce an insecticide that breaks open the stomach of insects and kills them. What if that BT gene were to transfer to our gut bacteria? This particular corn was never studied, but if it did, it might turn our intestinal flora into living pesticide factories. And a third problem is that every significant animal feeding study that looked at immune system problems found them. That's why the American Academy of Environmental Medicine lists immune system problems and reproductive problems among some of the reasons why to avoid GMOs. They ask all doctors to prescribe non-GMO diets to every patient. What can we do about it? Number one, learn more about GMOs so that we gain the ability to have clear discrimination to not choose, to not choose GMOs and rather to choose healthier non-GMO foods. So learning more will give us the motivation Learn how to avoid it at nonjumoshoppingguide.com and then tell others. Now, we've made it easy to do all that. We have at responsibletechnology.org, you can watch videos, listen to audios, read articles. At nonjumoshoppingguide.com, you can learn how to avoid GMOs. And back at responsibletechnology.org, you can sign up to be part of the Tipping Point Network, where you'll be joining others in your community and others nationwide to help get the word out. So GMOs are one of the worst health and environmental problems we face, but one of the easiest of the major problems to fix. Because only a small percentage of U.S. shoppers avoiding GMOs create a tipping point to knock it out of the food supply, as happened in Europe back in 1999, and has happened to bovine growth hormone kicked out of most U.S. dairies in the last few years. So join me in reclaiming a non-GMO food supply. Safe eating.